The Genius of Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is most widely known as one of the greatest painters of the European Renaissance. He painted the famous portrait Mona Lisa and the religious scene The Last Supper. The universal genius of Leonardo, however, lies in the versatility of his interests. He was a scientist, astronomer, mathematician, engineer, inventor, anatomist, architect, musician, and writer, as well as the most renowned painter of his time. Although he rarely formulated theories or scientific laws, Leonardo recorded observations and conceived ideas that were vastly ahead of his own time. According to the diary of his paternal grandfather, Leonardo was born in 1452 in the village of Anciano. He was the illegitimate son of a lawyer and a peasant girl. As a young boy, Leonardo studied under the renowned Florentine painter and sculptor Andrea del Verrocchio. Together, the painter and apprentice created the famous Baptism of Christ. In the painting, Leonardo's soft edges and graceful shadings stand out against Verrocchio's hard lines and definitive shadows. Leonardo's techniques preceded the style of the High Renaissance. This style did not emerge until 25 years after Leonardo opened his own studio in Florence. As an independent painter, Leonardo was commissioned to paint a church altarpiece depicting the three kings worshiping the baby Jesus. The painting is known today as the Adoration of the Three Kings. Although he spent considerable time planning an untraditional arrangement of the scene, he never in fact finished the piece. Instead, he left Florence at the age of 30 to become a court artist for the Duke of Milan. In Milan, Leonardo worked as a military and civil engineer. He designed artillery, river diversions, and revolving stages for pageants. He also planned a gigantic sculpture of Duke Ludovico Sforza's father mounted on a charging horse. Leonardo completed several of his masterpiece paintings during his time in Milan, including Madonna of the Rocks and The Last Supper. In creating The Last Supper, Leonardo experimented with both content and material. The painting shows Jesus announcing to his disciples that one of them will betray him. The scene had been a familiar subject of religious art since the Middle Ages. Leonardo, however, rejected the traditional arrangement of figures within the scene, much as he had begun to do in the Adoration of the Three Kings. He succeeded in composing a more centralized and active depiction of the biblical event. He also rejected the traditional techniques of fresco painting. The fresco method commonly used in Leonardo's time involved painting on wet plaster. This method required that the artist work quickly in apprehension of the plaster drying out. But Leonardo, who wanted to revise his work and apply careful detail, invented a new substance for coating the walls. This experiment, however, failed. Shortly after the painting's completion, the Last Supper began to flake off of the walls of the Milan monastery. During the years he spent in Milan, Leonardo began studying human anatomy. He dissected human and animal corpses and recorded his understanding of bones, muscles, tendons, and other body parts with detailed drawings and descriptions. He kept notebooks of his scientific observations and inventions, which included a rudimentary understanding of plate tectonics and illustrative designs for a flying machine and a calculator. In 1499, Milan fell to the French, and Leonardo was forced to flee. His fame as a painter followed him back to Florence, where the Florentine government commissioned him to paint the walls of a new city council hall. During his time in Florence, Leonardo also painted the Mona Lisa, famous for the young woman's mysterious smile and natural appearance. Leonardo painted very little during the last years of his life. He continued, however, to express his artistic and scientific genius through detailed sketches. He drew machines and invented experimental contraptions that predated many modern technological inventions. Leonardo spent the remaining two years of his life in France by request of the king, who wished to surround himself with the great minds of the European Renaissance. The legacy of Leonardo da Vinci endured beyond his death in 1519. He is remembered for his influence on future generations of painters, as well as his ingenious contributions to numerous academic fields.